Do I not have a pair of glasses in here? Poo. Poo, poo, poo. Well, I guess I will be right back. Okay, creep show art. Pause, because she doesn't deserve my view time. Open comments. Okay, this creep show art character, she is a royal bitch face. She is a bitch face. I don't condone violence, but if someone ever slapped the crap out of her, you know what? Whatever. She um, put more down on her her comment. She she <laughs> said she was not going to engage with this video or reply to any comments or anything. But here she is. She goes, any comment asking why, asking why you did, why didn't you address blank or blank or what Bunch Muncher seventy five said about you in their video with forty five views? Okay. This bitch. Oh, this bitch. God, I hate her. But yeah, why didn't you address it, you dumb bitch? Why didn't you address it? Why didn't you address it? Because you are a coward and you have nothing to say about it because you know you've been cornered, you're caught, you're dead. You're dead in the water. What a dumb bitch. Just, she's such a piece of shit. She's such a piece of dog shit. And actually she's saying that they, if I, they didn't accuse me of literal felonies, then I really don't care at the moment. But someone might pick apart the shit she's done and look at it all and say, hey, you know what? This is felonious. So, yeah, you've been accused of felonies because you're guilty of felonies, you dumb bitch. And nothing you've said proves otherwise. But anyway, this isn't about me getting hot-headed. This is about me reading comments. That's what this video is about. I want to read the snarky, salty comments because I love them and I'm here for them. This bitch that uh, isn't commenting or interacting with her video, although she is interacting with it. What a just now. Some of these I read um, in my video yesterday, but I'm going to read them again because you know what, y'all, you guys, if you, these people who've commented, if you don't already have a YouTube comment, and I plan on clicking on every single one of these profiles, not YouTube comment, YouTube channel, like creating content, but I'm going to click on all of these and see if you are because some of y'all just based on what I see here are funny as hell and you need to be creating content for me to watch. Um, I, uh, so I'm going to read some comments. So this is by GD2234. Two hours of you showing the extent you stalked Emily. Fantastic. I just, I, I, I feel, I feel the snarkiness and I'm here for it. Now, I know everybody can go and read all these comments, but I want to read them. I want to hear my voice read these out loud because I am petty. I am petty. I can be very understanding and forgiven, but I am also petty when a petty bitch calls for it. Okay? You got knocked out so hard that you didn't wake up for six months. The fight is over. The arena left. Take the L and move on. <laughs> that was by Camelot331. Love that one. I love that. It's a great one. And I believe he does create content. Um, this is by Katie. She really said Emily Artful is accusing me of being a cyber stalker. Good thing I've been documenting all of her online activity for the past 10 plus years so I can prove her wrong. LOL. <laughs> Hilarious. That's, you know, that's great. Thank you, Katie. Let's see. Ultimate Express said, remember guys, even if we can't see the YouTube dislikes, Creep Show Art can. Don't let YouTube's dumb changes trick you. Now, that is true, but um, I don't think she cares about the dislikes at this point. But you know, no, she does. Each one is just digging at her a little bit, and it's fantastic. Because you know she made that thinking she was going to be like, like, I've had the last word, and I'm going to march out of here with my head held high. No, slump, slump. 
this is actually disgusting, not even in a funny way. Shannon is an actual stalker and a danger to people. I hope Emily takes legal action. That was by Yuri, I don't want to say that name, even though I've probably said that word a hundred times, but you're correct, Yuri. Emily borrowed a, this is by Elaine Py Pytel. I apologize if I said that wrong. Emily borrowed a classmate's pencil when she was eight and did not return it. It's a sign of her manipulative nature. This is what this sounds like. Yeah, it is what it sounds like. It, this video is just, her video is just two and a half hours of gaslighting. Now, like I said, I've only watched other people who watch the video talk about it. And I know she would be like, well, they manipulated what I said and dissected it to make it, you know, to fit their narrative. No, 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 nobody did that. Well, Emily, this is Emily's wife, Jess. While Emily has changed, you haven't. She has made up for what she did, and she's one of the best YouTubers ever. You are not, Shannon. Emily, or this is from Jackie Fur. Emily, right as she was born, caused her mother extreme pain, exit in the womb, truly the sign of a manipulative person. Oh, this one's a good one by Captain Awesome, 10 Foot Marble Me. That's a mouthful, Captain Awesome. People are wrong for wanting an apology from you. That's an unreasonable ask. Prison, on the other hand, seems perfectly reasonable. This should be, a, this is Larkin. She's, she or he, I'm not sure and I'm sorry. This should be retitled, crying for two hours and acting like I'm a child because Emily is right and I'm a piece of shit stalker. Um, Taylor, one, two, three, four, M said, Shannon, like Shannon saying this, I'm not a stalker. Also, Shannon finds and shares Emily's online journal entries from when she was a 13 year old child. I mean, really this 13 years old. <laughs> oh my God. This bitch. Kelly D says, Emily talking about my husband this way is incredibly mean and ableist. Goes on to talk about Emily in a way that's very mean and ableist. She's just, this creep show Shannon thing is just, she is just nasty, nasty. Um, Dawn Z Nugget, is your name Dawn? Said, I've never wanted the dislike button back more than now. You literally just came back to throw high school drama shade at Emily and you're doing what you do best. Bullying. This ain't it. Boing, boing, <laughs> boing, 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 I don't know. Boing, 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 boing. When Emily was a month old, she woke her parents up in the middle of the night by crying. As you can see, this is extremely manipulative behavior and says a lot about her as a person. Froggy Scared pointed out that Shannon's quite literally the, the definition of obsessed. Absolutely disgusting. I cannot believe the amount of time she's taken to gather information from someone at their most vulnerable state. A stalker and a monster. She literally has proven everything. <coughs> oh, that one echoed. Emily stated, it's so ridiculous I have to laugh. Um, Messy Vanity says, I know she didn't just tell us to go touch grass when she just showed us evidence of 10 plus years worth of no get, no grass touching. <laughs> that's, that's a Hall of Fame one, Messy Vanity. Messy Vanity is getting hashtagged in this video, not that it's going to help, but that was a good one. There's so many good ones. I just can't possibly read them all. There's over 12,000, but they're wonderful. <laughs> These are great comments. <laughs> just some of them, they're not funny, but they're pointing out things that need to be pointed out. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I think that that, that y'all get the point. Oh, Vera Esparza. <laughs> now, I, I feel safe in, in saying these names because they're right here with the comments. So if that's a no-no, let me no-no and I will take it down. But I don't think that there's anything wrong with it since their names are here. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me read this one. This is from Mini Mojo Joy. Mini Mojo Joy. Read the description, guys. It's gold. Because you people couldn't even scroll down an Instagram page to fact check her. Per usual, I will do all the heavy lifting because you guys are lazy. Wow, the narcissist is just wafting off of you, Shannon, tenfold. Thank you for digging yourself a deeper hole, taking zero accountability, and finally showing your true colors publicly. Because we knew her true colors, but now public, she's made it public. What an embarrassment. She must be so embarrassed. Okay, I'm sorry. Bravo. You've made our jobs much easier. Leaving you in 2021 is the easiest thing we've had to do all year. Happy New Year, everyone. If COVID was a person, Shannon. That was a good, that was a, a, a good comment. And some of the, most of these comments are just, well, like all of them actually are right on point. So anyway, I'm sorry to make another video about this, but I'm just so freaking frustrated because it pisses me off that these YouTubers, and, and yeah, I am being bitter right now, they get all of these um, supporters and then they shit on them. Shannon shits on them and, and that's something else that just makes it harder for all these smaller YouTubers because she is taking a huge heifer size shit on anybody that ever supported her even the people that are still in support of her she shit on them she's a shitty shitty person and she needs to go so hopefully she really is done with youtube but her whole it, i i laugh at the whole thing where she's like i will not be interacting with this video and she's interacting with the comments she's adjusted them and stuff and you know and and you know what you better care about what you did to Ready to Glare. You better care what you did to her, you bitch. God. That's just... And I'm just hit, pointing out Ready to Glare just because that's the one that stands out to me the most. She's done nasty things. She needs it. Okay, so she thinks she's done something here with the Emily Artful stuff. Fine. Fine. Still apologize to your friends. They're never going to forgive you because you've proven what a piece of shit you are. But you should still apologize to those people sending her roses knowing full goddamn well what you did. Eat your own ass. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I got filthy. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go. Great comments, everyone. Um, I'm just going to... That's what I'm going to do. I'm pausing her video and just scrolling sh through and reading all these amazing, amazing, wonderful comments. There was one... I can't find it now, but she commented on my video and I know, I remember her comment, but I can't find it now. And I loved it, loved it. but yeah, well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to my tirade and me. It just pisses me off because people work really hard on their channels. People with a thousand subscribers work really hard on their channels. And this bitch gets to come along and get all these subscribers and all this support. And she shits on them. I don't care if I have one subscriber or a million subscribers. I'm never going to shit on any of them. I'm not going to shit on people because it's, it's cruel, it's horrible, and it's disgusting. It's just, well, I'm shitting on her. But you know what? Oh, well. Oh, well to that. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.